Many people have uh, established perceptions of a Donald Trump and a Hillary Clinton as they've been public figures for a very long time, but in different capacities. There will probably be questions about Hillary Clinton's emails that come up. She's made a mea culpa about that and wants to move forward. But I think people would like to know and hopefully see demonstrated tonight that she recognizes that her judgment has become uh, an imperative question because of that. How does she convince folks that that's not a problem? Sure, that's fair. I think that what she has learned over the course of the last several months when talking about questions about her emails is that when she has tried to get into the weeds of explaining exactly why she made the decision that she made, it sounds like she's trying to make excuses for herself and she's been upfront about the fact that there is no excuses. She takes full accountability. So that's the sentiment I think that she'll express tonight. But I think when it comes to transparency and being a honest broker... And I judgment. Think, yeah, sure. I mean, convincing I, independents out there about judgment. Right. And I think that you've heard in recent weeks on the campaign trail People like President Obama, her running mate, Senator Kane, Senator Elizabeth Warren, even now Senator Sanders, who was a very fierce adversary of hers in the primary, they're actually going to be campaigning together later this week in New Hampshire. And I think that speaks to the fact that even some of these people that have uh, been on the other side of her, President Obama, Senator Sanders, when push comes to shove, they trust Hillary Clinton. They know she has the judgment to perform the job of commander-in-chief. All right, Brian, great to see you. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. Appreciated. Brian Fallon of the Hillary Clinton campaign. Uh, so, as Hillary Clinton struggles with certain key parts of the so called Obama coalition,